Yeah? Okay. Well done, everyone. It was the hardest conversation class today. These were the idioms and the phrasal verbs that we did. Let me see if I can just give a little bit more explanation for them. If you take your time about something, just don't hurry, don't rush. You know, something I say in class, take your time, don't rush. If you take somebody for granted, you don't appreciate them. And thanks to Chris, we added this one, you're not grateful to them. I really like that. To take pride in something is when you love what you do, you feel enthusiastic and inspired, you want to do the best job and you feel really proud of what you've done. Now, if you are taken with each other, you really, 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 really like each other. It's a love relationship thing. You look at two people in the street and you can tell that they're really in love with each other. They're really taken with each other. If you take offence, it means you're angry and hurt because of something that somebody has either done or said. Yeah? And you take offence. To take with the rough with the smooth means just to accept the fact that life has its ups and downs. Ups and downs is another expression that we use. Life has its easy and it's difficult. The rough is the difficult, the smooth is the easy, and we just need to accept that. Here are the phrasal verbs. I couldn't even fit them on one board. If you can take this lesson in, if you can take everything in, basically you can understand it. That's what it means to be able to take it in. Now, to take somebody in though, that's the difference here. One is to take something in, is to understand. But if you take somebody in, it's basically to say, yeah, you can stay at my house for a little while. Yeah, I'll take you in for a few days. To take something, you know, either you can take it or you can't take it anymore. It basically means to tolerate it, to put up with it, to accept it, to deal with it, to handle it. And it's just a fact that there are some things in life that we just can't take, you know. I was prodding a student until she understood this and she said, stop it! And I said, that's it, you can't take it anymore. To take somebody out, you invite them out and maybe you pay for them. I don't know in England if we really pay for them, but we, we say, hey, come on out, or we'll have a lovely time together. Now, to take out something, I was using this in the context of my friend who always takes out insurance. And we usually use this phrase of a just in the context of insurance. When we take out insurance, we basically buy it. Pet insurance for our pet, holiday insurance for our holiday, phone insurance for our phone, life insurance for our life, that's the sort of thing. If you take something out on somebody else, it basically means that we put our anger on somebody. And, and somebody came up with a brilliant example today. They said, if we're stuck in traffic, we get really angry at the traffic, we go home and we shout at our wife and children husband and children, we just get angry at everybody because of the traffic. To take somebody up on something is to accept their offer, to say, okay, yeah, fair, I do, I'll accept that, I like that, it's a good offer. To take somebody up, so I've done that one, to take something up is to start a hobby, it's usually a hobby. In the lessons on Tuesday, we related it to a job, do you remember? You know, you have to take the rough with the smooth when you take up a new job, start a new job. But in general, we tend to take up hobbies. Uh, to take off somebody means to imitate or copy their personality or looks. We do it for fun, usually. To take off is basically when the plane leaves the ground. Once again, I'm going to be going into this in more detail because to take off has a number of different meanings. So I've got one here, to take off when the plane leaves the ground, to take off somebody to imitate them, but there are other takeoffs that we need to learn as well. And finally, to take back means to return something, but it can also mean to retract something, to say, oh, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to say that, I take it back. And of course, to take somebody back is to say, okay, I forgive you, I take you back here, I take you back. We can restart our relationship and forget all that. So that's what we've learned today. Next week, we'll add just a few more to this list and we're going to deepen our conversation.